This is the performance and speed test of iOS 16.3 versus Harmony OS 3.0 featuring iPhone 14 Pro and Huawei P50. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Today, we're going to compare iOS 16.3 performance to Harmony OS 3.0. We're using iPhone 14 Pro for this test. It is updated to the latest iOS 16.3. It has A16 Bionic with 6 gigs of RAM. While we're using the current flagship from Huawei, the Huawei P50, it's running on the latest Harmony OS 3.0, Snapdragon 888 and 8 gigs of RAM. And we're starting the comparison by talking about some of the cool features of both of these operating systems. Let's start with Harmony OS 3.0. It has improved card widget. You can resize the widget or the app folder. You can shrink or expand it. In terms of aesthetic change, I think this is one of the biggest changes on the Harmony OS 3.0. The new OS also has the ability to connect with two pairs of certain headphones. There are selected earbuds that can do this like the free buds too. The third coolest feature of Harmony OS is keeping a log of how open an app access your location, camera, microphone, files, or contact. You can actually control the security of your Huawei phone and put dummy access for malicious apps. Huawei also work on optimizations. Harmony OS 3.0 improves on app launch time and responsiveness and reduces power usage during gaming compared to Harmony OS 2.0. We will test this later. And lastly, the seamless multimedia interconnectivity that extends Harmony OS to smart devices too with the same operating system. A Harmony OS phone can connect to a tablet, giving it access to 4G, calls, and messages. So those are the coolest features of Harmony OS 3.0. Now let's talk about some of the coolest features of iOS 16 or 16.3. First is the lock screen switching. You can switch the lock screen throughout the day, touch and hold it, and then swipe. Depending on the outfit of the day or your mood, you can change how your iPhone look. iOS 16 brings a lot of changes to iMessages, undo typing, and also copy-pasting defined subject on a photo. You can copy-paste a subject on any of the iOS application or any application but with a white background. The fourth coolest feature is the dictation that translates your words into text, and this is particularly helpful in Notepad. And there are so many features of iOS 16, I think 400 plus, and if I will discuss all of them in a video, it would take a lot of time to go each and every one of them. The small iOS 16.3 brings additional security, Unity wallpaper to all iOS devices, HomePod support, and emergency SOS update. This also includes bug fixes, so we will check how these two phones perform on a performance and speed test. By the way, today we are in collaboration with VoltMe. And if you wanted a better and cheaper alternative for your wireless MagSafe power bank of Apple, they are introducing the VoltMe MagPack 5K. I will leave the link in the description below for you to buy this MagSafe power bank, because who doesn't want a MagSafe power bank for your iPhone? So this MagSafe wireless power bank has 5,000 mAh battery and it's three times the capacity of MagSafe power bank from Apple. This power bank is compatible with iPhone 12, 13, and 14, the regular Pro and Pro Max, but not the iPhone 12 and 13 mini. It has a rubber and leather finish to it that feels nice and soft. It has a kickstand too. It has a battery indicator below that shows you how much juice you have. And this works perfectly on a MagSafe case or just a bare iPhone. And the best thing about this is, this MagSafe wireless power bank is only under $60, so this is much cheaper than the Apple MagSafe wireless charger, which is around $120. This is definitely cheaper and better, so if you like to purchase this product, I will leave the link in the description below. And that's it, let's go back to the video. Now we're diving to the speed test and we're using Geekbench 5 for the synthetic benchmark test. After that, we will do the real world test, which is the boot up, screen refresh rate, application load time, reloading of apps, Wi-Fi speed test, and gaming. We are starting with our performance or speed test with benchmark test. We close all open apps before we begin and we're using Geekbench 5 for the synthetic benchmark test. All right, so for Huawei P50, 892 in single core and 3496 in multi-cores. For iPhone 14 Pro 1883 in single core and 5492 in multi cores. On this Geekbench test, I noticed that Huawei P50 is running on Android 12, so we can safely say that Harmony OS 3.0 is a fork of Android 12.
Starting with our gaming test in Mobile Legends, Huawei P50 can run on high graphics and ultra settings. The performance of this phone is excellent and I didn't notice any gameplay lags. On iPhone 14 Pro, it is a similar experience. It can be played on high graphics and ultra settings. I think the difference is the stereo quality sound. I thought that the sound on iPhone 14 Pro is better than Huawei P50. Next, we're moving to the boot up test. We will restart these two phones and check who will boot up faster. So for the boot up test, I think A16 Bionic is faster than Snapdragon 888 4G. Next is refresh rate and Huawei P50 has a dynamic refresh rate that goes from 60Hz to 90Hz while iPhone 14 Pro has ProMotion that goes from 1Hz to 120Hz. Both phones can save battery life. Next test is loading of apps and we will see if the updates of both operating system can launch the app faster. We will have a counter on top of this video. Now we will reload these apps. And lastly, the Wi-Fi speed test. Both phones are connected to the same network. We will test one phone at a time. Alright, so checking the scores. 88.5 Mbps download speed and 16 Mbps upload speed for Huawei P50. And 101 Mbps download speed and 16 Mbps upload speed for iPhone 14 Pro. So what is Gadget Revna's verdict? Harmony OS or Apple's iOS? Two different ecosystem but same reliable experience. The combination of A16 Bionic and iOS 16.3 is probably the best hardware-software combo we can get today. But if you don't need Google services, I think P50 with Harmony OS 3.0 is a good alternative, although it only has Snapdragon 888 and 8 gigs of RAM. For someone who wants a great performing phone, this is still solid in 2023. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel. Maybe the camera comparison next, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.